Imagine an Earth-sized exoplanet that experiences a sunrise and sunset every two days instead of 24 hours. Or another where amidst the swirling gases we've detected an element never before found on an exoplanet, sulfur dioxide. This is just a tiny sneak peek of the cosmic marvels that await us. So get ready to unravel the mysteries of the universe where fact is stranger than fiction as we step into the world of the James Webb Space Telescope. Have you ever met that older sibling who is just ridiculously more talented talented and cool than the younger one. Well, that's basically the relationship between the Hubble Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, or the JWST. No offense to Hubble, it's done an amazing job, and we love it. It's like the reliable older brother. It's been observing the universe since 1990, bringing us phenomenal views of galaxies far, far away. But then, along comes the James Webb Telescope, the new prodigy on the block. Webb is bigger, badder, and kitted out with a mirror nearly three times the size of Hubble's. Just like how an 80-inch 4K Ultra HD TV screen puts your old 32-inch one to shame. This massive mirror made up of 18 golden hexagonal segments isn't just for show. It means the James Webb Telescope can collect much more light, which translates to even better sharper images. This giant cosmic detective is just what we need to peek at our neighbors, if any, in the universe. And that's exactly what it did by discovering LHS 475b. I've got to say, it's not a one-man or rather one telescope show. It's more like a high-stakes cosmic tag team match featuring our stars, the James Webb Space Telescope and TESS or as it's more formally known, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Talk about a power duo. So let's get into the nitty gritty. What's TESS's role in all of this? TESS surveys around 200,000 of the brightest stars near our sun. It's got a system, it splits the sky into 26 sections and monitors each chunk for a few days, aiming to catch any stars whose brightness dips just enough to indicate there might be a planet passing in front of them. Kinda like trying to find the queen in a quick game of three card Monty, except with cosmic stakes. Now on to TOI, the TESS Objects of Interest. This is the treasure trove where all the promising data gathered by TESS is stashed. Think of it as a compass pointing the Webb telescope in the right direction to study and discover. And boy did they hit the jackpot with LHS 475b. But more on that later. Now if you're planning a cosmos-wide search for exoplanets, I'll give you a pro tip. Start by looking at the dwarf stars. Why, you might ask? Well, these little fellas might not be as dazzling as our own sun, but their less intense light and lower temperatures make them the ideal hunting ground for potential exoplanets. Plus, they have a neat little trick up their sleeve. These dwarf stars are much easier to spot in the infrared lights, the very spectrum where JWST shines. See, it all comes together, doesn't it? Now, let's bring back our star of the show, LHS 475b. So, how exactly did JWST stumble upon this cosmic gem? Thanks to our trusty TESS and the TOI database, JWST knew exactly where to look, and so it zeroed in on LHS 475 and documented two transits. Fancy word for the planet crossing its star. On the 31st of August and the 4th of September 2022, the James Webb Telescope went all CSI on it, capturing infrared spectrographs. This is a fancy way of saying it broke down the components of the light from the exoplanet, allowing us to dissect and understand what exactly is going on there. Like a master detective, JWST took the light, the only clue from billions of miles away, and revealed its secrets. Now, drumroll please, as we finally reveal our elusive celebrity, LHS 475b. In many ways, this exoplanet is the Earth's cosmic doppelganger. It's only 1% smaller, nearly identical in size to our beloved home. But don't pack your bags just yet, because LHS 475b also has some stark differences. For one, this planet is in the fast lane, making an entire orbit around its star in just two days. Makes our 365-day year seem like an eternity, right? It's also tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star, just like our moon always shows us the same face. Sounds cool until you realize that this results in temperatures that are a few hundred degrees hotter than Earth. I mean, who doesn't love a little extra warm? But that's just showing off. Now let's hop over to WASP-39b, a planet that makes Saturn look like a lightweight. And if you think that's impressive, get this. It's 30% larger than Jupiter, and it's a gas giant. It's the celestial equivalent 
equivalent of a super-sized soda. Wasp-39b likes to live dangerously. It orbits its host star about eight times closer than Mercury to our Sun. It's like sitting next to a bonfire with your face practically in the flames. But hey, each to their own, right? Webb didn't just stop at taking note of Wasp-39b's fearless lifestyle, it set out to unravel the mysteries of its atmosphere. Picture this, as the planet passes in front of its star, the light from the star travels through the planet's atmosphere. Webb scrutinizes this light, because different elements absorb different wavelengths of the light. So when colors from the spectrum are missing, it's like a neon sign pointing to the presence of certain molecules in the planet's atmosphere. And guess what the James Webb Telescope discovered in the atmospheric cocktail of WASP-39b? Sulfur dioxide. First of all, how amazing is it that the James Webb Telescope can analyze the chemical makeup of an atmosphere that is 700 light years away? Now this might not sound like much, but believe me, it's groundbreaking. You see, sulfur dioxide is usually found in volcanic eruptions on terrestrial bodies like Earth and Venus. But WASP-39b is a gas giant, so it's got its sulfur dioxide from a different source. How? Well, it's all thanks to a little process called photochemistry. Simply put, rays from the host star interact with sulfide gas in the planet's atmosphere, creating sulfur dioxide. Sound familiar? It should. The same UV-driven reactions happen in our own ozone layer. So WASP-39b, in its own unique gaseous way, has something in common with our very own home. Let's head over to another bizarre yet fascinating corner of our universe, a place hosting the one-of-a-kind exoplanet VHS-1256b. Now, VHS-1256b is a bit of an oddball. It's so large that you could easily mistake it for a failed star, or as astronomers would say, a brown dwarf. You see, unlike regular stars that fuse hydrogen into helium, these odd brown dwarfs are fusing deuterium hydrogen, a kind of heavyweight champion of hydrogen, into lighter helium. And just to add a pinch of peculiarity to its resume, VHS-1256b orbits not one, but two stars. But that's not all. Meet TOI-700, a planetary system that is redefining the term special. What's so extraordinary about it? Well, for starters, it boasts of not one, but multiple planets with habitable zones. Yes, you heard that right. First up, we have the TOI-700e. It orbits a red dwarf star in the Dorado constellation and is conveniently located just a mere 100 light years away from us. With a year that lasts 28 days, it's fast-paced, but it compensates by being cozy enough to potentially contain liquid water. But wait, there's more. Sharing the same system, we have TOI-700d, a planet that makes TOI-700e look like a little sibling. It's 10 times larger and carries a higher probability of having an Earth-like atmosphere and liquid water. Oh, and perhaps even life. Extraterrestrial beings could be sipping on space lattes right there for all we know. But here's where I put on my skeptic's hat. While all this is remarkably exciting and promises great potential, we need to remember that habitable doesn't necessarily mean inhabited. It's like having a party venue that's perfect in every way, but we still don't know if there's actually a party going on. And if there is, we're still waiting for our invitation. So while these tantalizing tidbits about TOI 700 have us dreaming about interstellar neighbors, we still have a lot of work to do before we can confirm anything. We need more research, more data, and let's be honest, a bit more luck too. But don't worry, with our cosmic spy, the J James Webb Space Telescope and Euclid's launch, we're in good hands. And to stay on the radar, check out our video on Euclid's launch to know what's happening right now. So stay tuned, because this celestial story is far from over.